This is big news on Capitol Hill, really representing the first big change in congressional leadership in a long time. Reid has served in Congress for over 30 years, and he has been at the helm of the Democrats, in the lead of the Democrats, since 2005. Now, he posted on Twitter this morning that he has made the decision not to run. He was up for re-election in Nevada in 2016 and that he will t retire. Uh, now, this was a Twitter video that he posted over three minutes long. It was very emotional, I should say. He, uh, there was images of him over the course of his career. His wife spoke during the video, and he is recovering from a rough year already. In January, he had an accident with a piece of exercise equipment, which caused bruises to his face. And I want to play you a little bit of this video right now and how he came to this decision. But this accident has caused us, for the first time, to have a little downtime. I have had time to ponder and to think. We've got to be more concerned about the country, the Senate, the state of Nevada, than us. And as a result of that, I'm not going to run for re-election. My friend, Senator McConnell, don't be too elated. I'm going to be here for 22 months, and you know what I'm going to be doing? The same thing I And in the video, he later goes on to say that he didn't make this decision based on his injury. He also notes that he didn't make the decision based on the fact that in November in the 2014 midterm elections that the Republicans took control of the Senate. Uh, now, I have to say the big question on Capitol Hill is who will take over for Reid? This is a, uh, going to be a big absence on Capitol Hill. Uh, two names that come to mind are, of course, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York and Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois.